Good evening, everyone. It's Blu ray J back. Uh, this is uh, the launch of our Grumpy Old Gentleman on Film channel, and uh, we're going to get together. Uh, there are six Grumpy Old Gentlemen me and Mike and Harry and Bob and James and Ian. Uh, we all have our own YouTube channels and we've become friends uh, and uh, over the last few months. And individually, we always talked about movies, and we had this book video, uh, book uh, movie club, where we all talked about a movie once a month on our own channels. But uh, the guys were nice enough to go ahead and make our own channel on YouTube, so we just post our videos on it, and uh, we can get together and talk and bitch and moan and laugh at each other and laugh at movies and all that stuff uh, but uh, anyway we're going to post uh, a video on here from each of us like once a month and we'll probably post more videos as time goes along uh, but uh, we will appreciate your support and uh, thumbs up and all that stuff and comments always welcome and uh, this month it was my turn to pick a movie and I picked uh, 1969's Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, starring Paul Newman and Robert Redford and the lovely Catherine Ross. Uh, this was uh, directed by George Roy Hill. And it came out in 1969, by, uh, released by 20th Century Fox. Um, and it was one of the biggest uh, sensations, box office hits at the time. Uh, probably, uh, you know, didn't eclipse, uh, I don't think, Gone with the Wind at the time, but uh, definitely probably the biggest uh, hit that uh, 20th Century Fox had had in quite a while. Uh, and uh, it was just a awesome Western buddy movie, comedy, action. Um, and it almost didn't star Paul Newman and uh, Robert Redford. It was almost Paul Newman and Steve McQueen but uh, Steve, Steve McQueen and uh, Paul Newman, they uh, had quite of a acting rivalry going on between them at the time. And uh, McQueen wanted top billing. And, uh, of course, uh, Newman said, no, 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 uh, this is my movie. Uh, you know, I'm more popular than you. And, uh, you know, they just really couldn't come to terms on who would get top billing. So that pretty much just uh, put uh, McQueen... On the back burner, so they got uh, uh, they got uh, Robert Redford to star instead, which worked out great because uh, Paul Newman, you know, he was already a superstar. He had, you know, Cool Hand Luke and uh, HUD and everything before that, uh, before Butch and Sundance. And uh, Newman came along, and he was just coming into his own at the time, and this really uh, made him a superstar. And he starred in. Uh, all kinds of great movies in the 70s and 80s. And uh, Catherine Ross, she had just came off The Graduate, uh, so she was a uh, pretty hot property at the time, too. So, uh, could you, I mean, three big stars like that. Uh, I mean, it's awesome uh, for the time to have them all in one movie. And of course, she went on, and uh, I think the same year she uh, was in Hellfighters with John Wayne and uh, went on to do The Stepford Wives. And uh, she actually met her future husband. I, I, I guess they uh, married, at the, uh, married uh, or maybe they just shacked up and were living together. Uh, but uh, anyway, Sam Elliott, he, he's an extra, I think, in one of the poker scenes in this movie. Maybe, maybe the first scene where they're playing cards. Uh, I think that's the scene he's in. But uh, she met Sam Elliott uh, during the making of this movie, and they fell in love and... Uh, all that stuff, but anyway, um, the first time I watched it uh, was probably in 81 or 82, because ABC TV used to show it all the time. They showed it two or three times a, a year, uh, because it was such a big hit, and it got uh, great ratings for the network, and uh, my, my older brother or my dad was always watching it, and uh, uh I can't remember who I watched it with first. Probably my dad, because my dad always liked it. But that was the first time I watched it in 81 or 82. And the first time I bought the movie, 
uh, was this VHS tape. I bought it at the Crossroads Mall in Beckley, uh, Christmas time of 1986. This was uh, used, I think I paid like $14.95 for it. And uh, still in great shape. Uh, th this seems like one of the movies I've bought over and over on VHS, on beta, on CED. Uh, I've actually got two Blu-rays of it. I've got the nice digi book of it here with all kinds of cool pictures and uh, little little bits of information and stuff. And I've got a, uh, the regular Amore case Blu-ray too. But uh, there's a great collar picture of Newman, Newman and Redford. No, those two got along great. Uh, during this uh, production of this movie, and uh, they uh, done uh, the sting, the sting in 1973. Uh, George Orwell Hill directed it too, and uh, they uh, started together in that. And it was a, I think, a bigger hit than this was. Uh, won uh, best picture in 1974. Uh, Newman was nominated. I think the only acting nomination he ever had for best actor was for. Uh, the Sting, but uh, that's another great movie. And uh, up until Newman's death, uh, he he said he always wanted to do another movie with Paul uh, with uh, Robert Redford. I remember him being on David Letterman, and he said said he wanted to do, uh, to do one more film. If he'd done one more film before he retired, that is, he wanted to to do it with Robert Redford, but that never came to pass. And sadly, he died. Uh, lost a great actor there, uh, but uh, yeah, th this always um, is just about two uh, outlaws of the old west, uh, the 1800s that Rob Banks uh, just done what it could to survive, uh, but uh, it uh, you know times were changing then, and uh, uh, banks were getting harder to rob. Uh, and uh, they, they tried towards the end to get uh, steady jobs, but that didn't work out for them. Uh, and we uh, have the ending that we have. You know, of course, they supposedly died, but uh, a lot of people think that they survived the big shootout at, uh, in uh, Bolivia. That's their last known location where they was at. And a lot of people think that they actually lived, at least one of them did, and uh, went on and just died of old age. But uh, uh, the ending of the movie, uh, Ian, um, I watched Ian's video, and uh, he said that uh, he hated it. it wasn't blood and guts at the end. He wanted to see him get torn to shreds, and I think it's a bit much for 1969 audiences. But, of course, two years before, we just saw you know Bonnie and Clyde get blown to bits at the end of that. I mean, that was a real bloody finale. But... Uh, I, I, I think that uh, Butch and Sundance were more heroes, even though they were outlaws, and you know the audience just wasn't prepared to see their heroes die in front of them on screen, and that's why we got the famous uh, free shot ending uh, when Butch and Sundance run out. They're just about out of, out of ammo, and they're all shot up anyway and bleeding, but they, they run out and just this big uh, cannons waiting on them and you just hear the gunshots and well they're dead and, but they um, yeah that's the ending we got and uh, but uh, uh, Catherine Ross she played at a place in this movie and uh, she uh, I believe in, in the movie she's like supposed to be a school teacher. In real life, they said that it was highly, highly doubtful, even if she was a real person, it was highly doubtful that she was a school teacher, that she's probably a prostitute that just hung out with them. And, uh, but uh, there was a 1974, 1975 TV movie that Catherine Ross, uh, she reprised her roles at a place, I believe it was called uh, In Search of the Sundance Woman, maybe. I think that's what it was called. I don't think it's out on video. It might be on YouTube if you look it up. Uh, you can find out more about that. Uh, I saw it once. I saw that once probably, probably in the late 80s. 
it was on late night TV I watched and I don't remember much about it or the, other than Catherine Ross looked as beautiful as she did in, in this right here uh, and there was a 1979 sequel to this too that 20th Century Fox done called Butch and Sundance the Early Days and I had that on VHS uh, in 1989 or 1990 and it starred William Catt and Tom Berenger as Butch and Sundance but uh, it, it was pretty good but and they try to get get away with some of the humor they did in this and it just eh, not very memorable really but uh, this is a all-time classic uh, probably yeah most definitely my favorite Western um, like I said it, it it seems like to me it was just two buddies in 1969 contemporary times riding on horses uh, just the way they talked and the way they acted uh, at times it just didn't seem like they were in the old west even though they they were you know it was especially the eight, uh, late 1800s i think um uh, but uh this great chemistry between the two leads uh and with miss ross thrown in uh just uh, that made it uh, much more enjoyable um Lots of, lots of good action, lots of good one-liners and uh, quotes from that movie. Great movie. And uh, I hope you all enjoy my little talk of this movie. Um, I'll probably um, watch it. I, I didn't watch it before the video because I, I, I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie more than Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, okay? <laughs> uh, I've seen it more than that, so that means I really, really, really like this. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching and putting up with me, and uh, bye.